This week, another small Hyundai. David. Which venue are we going to? It is the, <laughs> which venue? I get it because it is the Hyundai venue elite. Elite. Now there's a few things first of all to note about this quite plucky little baby Hyundai. The view in the rear view camera is not the highest of resolution, but certainly adequate. Hmm. How's the space in the back seat there? Well, we've put the passenger seat as far forward as possible and we've removed the headrest. I'm, I'm in clover. Put it under yeah. the thighs. I've got room to put my feet under the seat in front of me. I mean, the materials inside, that's quite hard. We found that on the Hyundai last week, the Kona Electric. Hmm. The tops of the doors are the same. They're a little bit hard. And the plastic generally, is hard but david is that a surprise for the price uh, of this i don't think so what's okay. the prices uh it starts at about uh, twenty thousand six hundred but for this one it's an extra two thousand for an automatic the base model is a manual yep. an extra two thousand for the middle range and the top of the range elite is just not quite another two thousand finishing off at about twenty six and a half thousand dollars plus on roads now that is for the post July models. This one, although it is a current model venue, doesn't have the sunroof. So this is an elite that doesn't have the sunroof. So, uh, and sunroofs are usually worth about two grand ish, aren't they? I love the layout of the cabin. I think this, it's typical Hyundai. There's a single zone of climate control here. Mm. Mm. Easy to get at, demister buttons for front and rear couple of USBs below that. Now remember, only one of those goes through to the Apple CarPlay, which in this car, because it has navigation, is not wireless. No. You've got to stick a cable in. So Android Auto, Apple CarPlay are wireless in the base models that don't have navigation built in, the ones that do. And this goes for the, all of Hyundai Group, uh, including Genesis. Which is, yes. I think, yes. rather surprising. The buttons... Well laid out. I like that a lot. Simple two dials on the dash and a, what's that look like, about a four inch odd LCD screen for things mm. such as uh, an electric, electronic speedo, which I like a lot. So I've been driving this car a little bit at night. One thing I did notice is I do have automatic headlights, dust sensing headlights, but my wipers, they, they are automatic if you consider intermittent to be automatic. We're on 17 inch wheels on this top model. Yes. The base model has 15. Geez, they must look really lost in the wheel arches. Up this reasonably steep hill, this six speed automatic does feel with a 90 kilowatt engine, a little bit anemic. I suppose you've got to keep in mind, this is a city car after all, David. It's a 1.6 litre with, uh, we thought, about 151 newton metres. Indeed, and 90 kilowatts. It's one that is at least, from my point of view, it's not a little one litre Look, I do have cylinder. drive modes there, so I put it into sport. Oh, that's made it a little bit nippier. Oh, gosh. Well, it made a difference only because our start point was quite low. Also on the drive mode selected we've got terrain control so let's go and put it in uh, in traction what does that give us snow mud and sand i think that's rather hopeful for a front wheel drive car so you press the button to switch between drive and traction and give it a twist to go between functions the upholstery i think looks rather nice i quite like this this fabric that looks like a a self pattern suit fabric i think that looks much nicer than that, you know, that base model Toyota fake yeah. upholstery looking thing. I don't like that at all. This I, I don't think looks too bad. And I don't hold out much hope for the leather look fabric being leather. I notice in the back here, I have a two tone armrest. Do you have any, um, do you have any outlets in the back or, or USBs? Oh, I shout occasionally. Steering is extremely light. I'm trying not to overdo it on this damp road but it's uh, not exactly very quiet well this is not a good road 
uh, for quietness. No. It has a lot of joints in it. it but it's but this is the sort of road you'd be on if you were doing a, a road trip. Yeah, the modern car sitting on 100 or 110 is not a, a task at all, really. Well, it's doing about 2,500 RPM at 100. Okay. Which is... Um, that's that's quite a lot. You've really got to squeeze the motor a fair bit if you want to get that full power out of Well, it. it's a little bit like us, David. I think it, at our age, our motors need to be squeezed a bit to get the most out of us. I, uh, no? No, nothing, no, no. Nothing. I, 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 nothing. I think the harder I try, the more I realise how old I'm getting. Next, the radio. Not bad sound, David. Oh, look. I, I thought it uh, was quite credible. For, for an entry-level car, yeah. it does have Apple CarPlay, as I said, and Android Auto, but it's also got DAB, which oh. I think is not bad. You know, some more expensive cars don't have that unless you get a um, an upgrade of some kind. It's also good that it's still got AM. Some European cars don't. One thing I have noticed is, although I do have blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning with lane departure assist, I don't have lane centering. The overhead hood lining feels a little bit, um, that's quite hard. You're certainly getting more headroom. I mean, I've got the seat set for me and I've got, you know, a good that much. One thing I like about Kia and Hyundai is the layout of their steering wheel buttons, lovely and simple. Although I was trying to turn this thinking that was the fan button. It's not, it's just the readout. The fan, the fan's there. Oh, okay, and the fan's on the left. Yeah. Now that we've gone into a tunnel, you can see the steering wheel buttons are backlit. The buttons here are easily backlit. And more importantly, and we've found this even with some posh cars, the USBs, David, they're backlit as well. I mean, what I like is not having to search in the dark for a hole. That drives me bananas. Have you ever got it in the right way the first time, David? Well, there's three Into ways the to put in a... a the yes, first way, the second the, way, and the right way. No, and then back to the first way again. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a good point. Yeah, now that we're out of a tunnel, let's talk first about the cruise control, which is manual cruise control. So you set it and it won't keep you a set distance from the car in front. Keep an eye out, or you could run up someone's clacker. No. Not adaptive, and fuel consumption. We're running at about 6.7 litres per 100 kilometres. But sadly, the spare tyre is only a space saver, David. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It is a shame. Look, there's absolutely a ton of room for your feet, which is so important. It is an easy car to get in and out of, isn't it? Well, it's a surprisingly good package. You're right about the amount of space. Look how much space I've got. That much space in the back seat. Mm, in an accident. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you were carrying somebody that's an invalid, like me, because, you know, my, I've got a bad leg. Did I tell you I've got a bad leg? Uh, only once today. Oh. What do you mean only once today am I falling down on my manorial <laughs> duties? How do you find the acceleration? Have you fiddled with your, with your knob, David? I find that uh, I'm not getting excited as much as I thought I might. No, well try getting more excited by putting it in sport. Uh, the, I, I find these little cars, I just don't want to try and push them hard because it just feels like they're they're straining a little. I mean, it's not as bad as well. I mean, it is a my little old bit. Morris Minor, but... it, a Morris Minor from 50 years ago. Well, I would well, hope I, it's I better didn't than buy it new, Helen. I hope it's better than a Morris. Actually, 60 years ago, probably for a Mori. Uh, yeah, well, in fact, 70 since the lights up one has has been. I think. David, this is a city car for city people that you know you may want to go and I don't know pick up kids or get some David Jones bags or, or whatever there's enough space for you know young couple hmm. or you know perhaps a, some downsizers or whatever 
All they want to do is get from one place to the other. That's it. Final thoughts, David. It's great for what it's intended. It's, it is a, an urban car that would sit still comfortably on a good motorway. A little it's, bit choppy on this really bad road here in um, O'Riordan Street, but uh, you know, most cars are. And that's all this week from the Venue Elite, Hyundai's smallest SUV. Mm. Not a bad little thing, apart from its slight uh, aesthetic challenge at the front end. You pay for what you get. You do. Uh, and in all things, hit like. Oh, and make a comment. <laughs> but above all, over there to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>